These saints are God's fire extinguishers. They are called to put out the fires of sin that are present in their own age. And that is why many times the saints are, well, misunderstood or misinterpreted or even hated by the people of their times because they are the remedy. But not everybody willingly accepts the medicine that God gives them because it means a change of life. And well, sometimes that's hard to accept. Saint Anselm's holiness and powerful intellect make him a key figure of the Middle Ages. He is known above all for his great writings, his interpretation of the sacred scriptures, of working many miracles, cures. He is known, of course, as the great Bishop of Canterbury, England, uh, where he was called to put out a great fire set ablaze by King William, who opposed the Christian faith in England during those times. But one of the qualities of St. Anselm that is little known and little talked about is actually his great friendliness and equilibrium in dealing with souls. Everybody from kings to paupers went to him for spiritual counsel. On a certain occasion, an abbot went to St. Anselm, I don't know what's going on. The more we try to convince the boys and the more we try to force them into practicing virtue, the more we correct them, the worse they become. St. Anselm responded, but you're trying to force them. And he asked him, if after planting a tree in your garden, right away you close it in on all sides, how is it going to grow? Do you think that it is going to have leafy branches and a beautiful trunk? It's going to grow all twisted and knotted. Now, is it the tree's fault? Of course not. It's the one who planted the tree who is responsible. And this is, well, exactly what you're doing with these poor boys. <laughs> you need to give them time to grow. After all, they're only boys. If you want these boys to have good habits, you have to encourage them. You have to have the sympathy, the gentleness of a father. You have to help them. You have to be a friend to them. You have to go out of your way for them. And this was the way that St. Anselm treated everybody he knew. Now, he had great discernment. He knew how to treat each person according to their state of life. He gave the right counsel for everybody. He didn't give the same counsel that he would give to a religious monk 40 years living in the monastery, to a boy who had just entered. And he didn't give the same counsel to a boy who just entered, to a baker or to a lawyer. Now, one of the greatest reliefs in life, I'm sure you'll agree with me, is when we have our doubts resolved. When our perplexities come to an end when we find the solution we are looking for. Saint Anselm always had that solution. He extinguished the fires of his times. Sometimes they were little fires that tormented just a single soul. Other times they were larger fires that affected a whole monastery or a whole town or even an old whole country like in the case of England when he was sent there and was eventually elected bishop. So Saint Anselm made it his duty to put out the flames. On one occasion or another, he even put out real fires. One time in the town of Winchester, a fire broke out and was burning the houses of the town. It was heading in the direction of Anselm's lodging. The men present told everybody to evacuate, but the lady of the house refused. Since Anselm was there, she was sure that nothing would happen. The men implored him to go out and at least make the sign of the cross, to give a blessing, to do something to stop the fire because it was consuming the whole town. 
and it was heading in their direction. When he did, the fire immediately stopped. It died down. And houses that were being half burnt stayed in the state that they were. The fire disappeared completely. If you ever need a fire put out, you have one more saint who is ready to intercede for you. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.